some of you may actually want your siblings to live closer to you. If you're one of those people, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Shari Khan, and I'm the South Asian attorney. There are three main steps for bringing your siblings to the US. These steps are filing Form I-130, Form I-485, and an affidavit of support. So who exactly is a sibling? A sibling is a brother or sister with whom you share at least one parent. And that parent can be a mother or a father. A sibling can also be a stepbrother or sister. This of course happens when your mother or father gets married to another person who has children or an adopted brother or sister. As long as your family adopted your brother or sister before they turned 16. The first thing that you'll have to do is file Form I-130. This form will establish a sibling relationship between you and them. As soon as USCIS receives your I-130 petition, it gives your sibling a place in line to receive a green card. Just so you know, this place in line is called the priority date. More on this later. The supporting documents that you need with your I-130 include a copy of your birth certificate, a copy of your sibling's birth certificate. This birth certificate shows that you share at least one parent. Proof of your U.S. citizenship. This proof can include a U.S. birth certificate, U.S. passport, naturalization certificate, certificate of citizenship, consulate report of birth abroad. How long does it take to get your siblings to the U.S.? To determine the processing time, we first have to establish the preference category. Okay, so let's check out the USCIS preference category section. Here you can see that brothers and sisters fall under the fourth preference category. Let's now go to the Department of State's visa bulletin for March 2023. Here you'll find out when your siblings can apply for a green card. You can see that the date listed next to F4 or the fourth preference category is 22nd March 2007. So remember that I told you that filing the I-130 application gets you a place in the line and that this line is called the priority date. Okay, so say that you filed your application on 21st March 2007. In this case, your priority date is 21st March 2007. Now, because the date showing on the bulletin for your category is 22nd March 2007, your siblings can now apply for the green card. I know that's a long time. And it's even longer if your sibling was born in China, India, Mexico, or the Philippines. But if your siblings are not married and your parents are still alive, you may want to apply for your parents first because they won't have to wait for a long time to get a green card. Once they become US citizens, they can apply for your siblings. And if your parents applied for them, they'll fall under the second category. And thus their waiting time will be much shorter. I'll make another video to explain that process in detail. If your sibling lives abroad, the USCIS will review your Form I-130 and make a decision. Once the USCIS approves your form, it will send your file to the National Visa Center or the NVC. When your priority date or your place in line is current, the NVC processes your file and sends your sibling a notice with important case information. Your sibling can now submit the NVC package. This package will include government filing fees, Form DS-260, proof of nationality, police clearance certificates, affidavit of support. Just a little information on affidavit of support. You make this promise to ensure that your siblings do not have to rely on government aid for anything. Your income must be 125% above the federal poverty level. For more information on the poverty level, go to Health and Human Services Poverty Guidelines. I'll include a link in the description below. If your sibling lives in the US, they have the option for filing for adjustment of status. Again, they'll only be able to apply for this when the priority date is current. This will ensure that they don't have to leave the US in order to receive a green card. But they must have maintained lawful status in the US. 
The supporting documents for this process will include a birth certificate, proof of their lawful entry to the US, proof of medical examination, and affidavit of support. Well, now that your siblings are here, you can spend a lot of time together. If you have questions, you can contact my office. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.